Hey everyone, welcome to Trax Gaming. Another uh, weekly mailbox opening, this time not in a live stream. Because I'm actually, well, a little bit caught up with the flu, so I'm doing this in advance. Because I don't think it would be a lovely live stream, me snottering and coughing all over the place. Now a lot of stuff uh, has been going on uh, privately for my case. So I haven't done a lot of videos lately, except for the live streams. And let's see what we at here. I'm at 26, uh, 267 k gold, and I got 60 k in the mailbox. Um, with all this uh, scaling going on, a lot of people have been doing transmogs. I just tested it out in the beginning, and I got these robes here, uh, the Mistwalker boots I already had, and also got the replenished Guardian. And just a few other stuff as well. But not very high quality transmogs. Only the robes and the shield you saw I still were good. And I still have a few other ones that I haven't been able to sell. I got this like life mechanical toad that was good. And a few other things. Not so much very expensive ones. The shield I got... Uh, with a bidding war, got it for 500 gold. Let's see for some other stuff as well. I got a few nice transmogs, but I'm never sure if they sell until they sell. Anyway, let's go over to the mailbox. Let's take out this stuff. And let's see. Big one, 25k. Nightbane carapace or how you call it not so much drainor transmogs since I think I sold almost all of them we got a few bigger ones we're gonna see afterwards what these exactly are let's just open it up the past three on the K mark here so that means I will be able to buy a token if I have to from this character so that's good. It's very good. Been steadily going up with this one over the weeks. Let's see for my sales for the last 14 days. Let's go over to Traxmogger and Nightbane Carapace. Yeah, Undead is not, clearly, it's not the best one to preview stuff. Got the Gloves of the Fang from uh, Wailing Caverns. So that's not so bad. I think it still sells as uh, Twin Gear. What else is big? Right here, 3000 for Red Gloves. Yeah, nice transmog feature then. Somebody going with a Red Transmogs. And a Golden Shield, Paladins. What else do we got? Spaulders weird that people buy the old spoilers because they don't even look good in design these seem like to be short shorts like the woolies what else what else yeah robes astralan somebody going for a pink transmog yeah it's weird with the level scaling how this would work out but Hey, I've been going up steadily with my transmog. Sometimes my posting price has been, oh, yeah, bringing down my profit because I do have a lot of items. Let's go see how much I have right now. It's over 600. Pretty sure. Uh, a while ago, yeah, 653. A while ago, I disenchanted a lot of. Um, transmogs with a sale rate below 4 up till 1000 gold so this one is actually something for transmog this fear uh, to disenchant sorry because I was stocking up a lot of transmog items but now with level scaling you have to wait till the API the database is going back up so you can use remote auction app, uh, re remote auction app get all the latest data again from TSM because well it's like 13 days ago so let's go over to the main character alright so I prepared a bit got 
458 males, 80k in the last few or month. 3.529 million gold. Let's take a quick look at my player gold. Almost reached 3.7 on the last opening. So, last month was a very good month, as you can see. And yeah, I reinvested about 140k mostly on gems and on chaos crystals. I've been buying Fel Meteorite. Fel Meteorite is something from the. I think it's from the pre. The Fel Meteorite is something from the pre event. It's going to go soon out of the game. And I bought these really cheap. I think they will be costly over a few weeks or even months. Because it's some, some sort of like a, 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 a consumable toy where you slingshot yourself as a fell meteorite right through the sky. Okay, but anyways, let's open this stuff up. Got a few good sales, not everything of course, smaller things as well, but everything you sell is profit. So let's see here a little bit, I get some gear and chance, primal eternal group, then I have some fish, some other stuff as well, shadow silk, yeah demon steel, 9k, enchant gloves, shadow silk, lace stone boots, the smaller ones, smaller neck. The big one, Dawnlight Band, it's a nice ring that I sold. Jewel crafting is doing very well. All of the crafting stuff like this, Terra Spike Insole, Fibril 2, Relics, the BOE sold. Another uh, Relic from Inscription, Imbued Silkweave Hood, 12k. What else, what else? Yeah, Imbued Silk Weave that I flipped. I bought some cheap ones and relisted them because I have more than enough. Some enchants, some food. Dread Leather 3.5k. Yeah, it's really looking good so far on sales. I got a very big variety in sales. Selling consumables, selling crafting gear, selling transmog items, selling transmog crafting items like the Primals and Eternals. Yeah, I'm doing more than good. I'm selling glyphs, like the buff food, fish in general, anything sells. Don't don't forget that. Keep that in mind. Where are we at here? Um, potions of prolonged power, enchant cloak for 6.4k. Here comes more fish and eternals, then enchant ring 3.1. Imbued silk weave 6.6. .6. Imperial crown 20k. Those sell well if you have good procs. And then Satchel sold. The smaller bags, Eternal Life here. Uh, crumbling pets are going up in price. That's the, the sale. 900 gold. That's good. And what else? Yeah, Battlebound, Warhelm, stuff like that. Primals right here. Shadow and, and Water is doing good. Moskill Purge, another pet, Enchant Cloak, that, yeah, that's the one we saw already. And refresh. Yeah, Enchants 2k, 4k, 2k, Silky Foot, Flame Spike, another relic, Enchants 4k, 5k. Gear 10k, 12k for the armbands, 4k for another enchant soul fibril that's a relic 7.2 what was that almost missed it dread leather jerk in 10k 11k source for shadow ruby pendant flasks glyphs smaller gear fiend the shoulder guards tomes of the tranquil mind sold quite a lot of them for a nice amount have to try and sell more of those yeah some potions of prolonged power here and there. I need more bloods on my druid from herbalism. <laughs> Obviously. 
more hide stuff. Here's some more primal shadow. Enchant weapon, 6k. This is an old one. Enchant healing, uh, BOE for 40k. Necklace, 12.9. Some more stuff. It's all stuff you can craft. And if you farm it, you get more profit, of course. If you're going for quantity, yeah, your mana potions, flasks, cosmic crown 17k, neck for 10k, flasks 4.2k, some more fish. If you are willing to farm, you can make more profit. If you want to make profit, and it's not so much about how high the profit is, try craft everything that is profitable and go for quantity. Because I tried to sell them uh, at max price most of the time. Some more. Potions of prolonged power again. Flasks in there. Some more potions. Tranquil Mines. More potions. Imperial Crown for 10k. 10.9. Demon Steel Gauntlets. And an Enchant. Also nice pricing. Demon Steel Arm Guards, 13.5k. Imbued Silk Weave stuff, all nice prices. Primal Shadow, Flasks again. An Enchant again. Dawnlight Medallion, 7.2k. Dread Leather stuff, going over 3k for everything. Imbued Silk Weave, more than 3k. Tomes of the Tranquil Mine again. Gloves and chants also sell well. They're not very high priced, but they only take a few ley lights, fish, fiendish leather. Uh, I had enough fiendish leather. So if I don't need it, don't discard it, sell it. Primal Shadow, Primal Life, Glyph again, imbued Silk Weave, 15.5k. Glyph and chants. Yeah, Shadow Ruby Band, that's also crafted. Doesn't it, That's like double the crafting cost. Where it's selling for. Tomes of the Tranquil Mind again, higher priced even. A BOE, 23k. Almost lost all BOEs, almost all sold. Masteries, and that to somebody who's flipping. Get six sold, three sellers, so that's good. Tomes of the Tranquil Mind in there again. Flasks again. Shadow Silk again for the people collecting the mound. 45.8k for a neck that you can easily craft. Tomes of the Tranquil Mine again. Potions of Prolonged Power again. Everything is profitable. You gotta put some time in it. Setting your groups up. There's some more primals. Demon Steel Arm Guard 6.6, 7.2 for a, a neck piece. Enchants in there. Some fish in there. Fiendish Leather again less than before but okay enchant neck in there 3.3k some more enchants 3.6 a pet some primal life so it's looking good if I flash here see where we're coming up average buy 124 260 sales so that's more than double on the profit not everything sold yet, so I'm reaching. Sometimes I'm, I'm at break even point on some some items, but it's an investment. Like here, Eternal Life, Four Spirits didn't sell already all. Eternal Fire is good. It's more than double, almost triple. Eternal Shadow, halfway to break even. So, drums right here, another neck. Uh, Strazen Mark, that's a relic from Inscription, Fish, Fish, Enchant again, some more Enchants, 4k, Pet, some Rings, Dread Leather Belt, Dread Leather Jerkin, Leather Love Seat, that's a toy, Shokel's Grim Quench, that's a BOE, 26k, some more Enchants, almost all around 4k, uh, some more flasks, some more fish. Don't light band now for 12k. So I'm doing quite well. It's looking good. Still have enough that I have to sell. So like this, Primal Shadow selling well. 
I'm almost out if I look at my stock that I had. Primal Fire, same thing. Uh, what else? Yeah, Primal Life. War High Jerkin, Silver Mackerel, Dread Leather Bell for 8k, Dread Leather Gloss for 7.6, and another BOE. So I'm coming up to 4.7, so that's 1 million 200 looted. That's more than a million profit. And I'm up to 5.6 million gold, so I'm halfway over gold cap if I kept it on one character because, well. Keeping up with posting and stuff, it's kind of hard uh, with the transmogs in the way. That's why I'm doing it over two characters. And I still have to count in the one that I sell the bags on. Uh, if you watched older episodes, you can see me do some hex weave bag flipping. But they're very cheap. Now, I still have a lot. I'm not sure how many. But as soon as Battle for Azeroth drops, this, this will be good. A lot of people are going to need bags. What is the price now? Yeah, 1.3 is the cheapest one. 1.4, 1.5 is, is, is the average. And I have 215 still. So I'm waiting for the price to go up like, um, well, 2,000 gold should be good. That's a profit of 750 to 800 gold per bag. The uh, mail icon was showing, no no uh, mails. Let's go over some quick sales. How many I've been doing the last three months. So you saw the weekly stuff where I invested a lot. And it was more up and down until I toned down on the investments. Tried to sell off all the investments I made. And look what that, that has done. Also the crafting. Uh, a lot, a lot more stuff. Um, time for crafting, I had a lot more farming. I did, and it's really working out well. So, if you're looking for more actively selling or quick profit, go farm some stuff and sell it. What's this? Uh, resales. I don't know all stuff that's in there. What is all that stuff? Okay, a lot of Eternals and Fish, Primal sold, that's good, look at the amounts, over 1,000 fish, 3,000 fish, 1.6, 2,000, 2,800, so that's quite good, only I don't know all this stuff in here, even Volatile, started doing the Volatile dance, not farming them, just buying them cheap and reselling them. And stacks of 20. What is this? A necklace. Why would I flip a necklace? Uh, why would I flip another necklace? Okay, let's see. Type, auction. Oh. I didn't. Oh. Huh? All my resales were profit, so let's see to let's take a look at the big sales. Let's put it on auction. Uh, put it on this character. And then for the last two weeks. Biggest I sold. BOE. And yeah, let's go back 30 days. Okay, 1.47k, 115.58, yeah. Mm. Pendants, rings, BOEs, then Demon Steel Gauntlets, Aqua Mark, Flasks, yeah, all for the same price sold, so it's looking good. A lot of good sales, and if you if you don't count in the BOEs, a lot of crafted stuff for nice values, especially the gems. No, not the gems, the rings and, and the necks. And then, of course, the relics. Yeah, some enchants, if you sell them for the same price, they will stack up. Like the Stones of the Tranquil Mind. If I gotta take a peek. 
I think I would make more gold out of crafting stuff than enchanting stuff because you almost always have to invest in chaos crystals. And then... Okay, I have Bloods of Sargeras in here that I sold for some weird reason. Maybe it's stuff crafted solely by Bloods, like potions of long power, I don't know. But yeah, another good week, over halfway to gold cap, gotta say, or almost halfway gold cap if you count only this character. But you gotta count in the transmog seller and the bag seller as well, so I'm over halfway. If that was the goal, but I have like 10 days left for game time. And my wife is slimming down as well, so we gotta buy two tokens, so that will bring me back a bit. I have to do more effort then. But anyways, sorry for not posting regularly. Uh, my daughters have been sick, I've been sick, so, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Take care, and happy gold hunting.